So I think it might be about time to start investing in some other things. How much money have we got? Yeah, we got plenty. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and... One of the things, one of the objectives for this land... Let me see if I can get it to come up. Build a wonder. You get 100,000 tribute for building a wonder. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the siren, because we're gonna want to build that in this land. It's the cheapest wonder. You can almost... If you do things just right, you can buy the volcano in this land. Uh, and basically you can, like, not buy the armed or the uh, archers uh, armory, not buy pretty much anything else. What, what am I looking for? <laughs> what am I, I don't even know what I'm looking for. We're going to need the ranged armory, that's for sure. Why am I here? I feel like I just walked into another room and it's like, I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> um... It was something relating to war. Oh, symbols of fecundity, yes. Fertility statues. Great way to get the people to make babies without having to buy nurseries. Alright, so they want a creature pen. That's fine. We'll stick that somewhere away from the houses. Now, there's a difference between having like a wartime economy and just being a huge dick. And in this game, being evil... It's called the evil run, but... That uh, doesn't necessarily. You can be a warring god and not become too evil. But if you're doing all kinds of evil stuff, it's going to come back. These and Greeks are like show. any people I have met before. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's see. We want to get over to this mine. There's a. How much ore is in there? Four thousand. That's like nothing, man. Where's all the ore hiding? I guess there's a bunch sitting outside it, but still, damn. So we're going to start building houses over in that direction. Maybe even throw in another temple or something over there just to increase our influence rings. So where are my fecundity statues? I'm just going to stick one right in the middle of every group of houses so that they're always reminded that they should be making babies. They're not too costly either, just a 180 to build one. 180 ore. Alright, let's put down a... Uh, where's the ranged armory? I'm gonna put those in the same place. The Greeks have a formidable city. My people must work harder. So, we're gonna need to find some way to get some mine workers over to that mine. And sooner the better. How much ore have we got? 3,000? Not a whole lot. We need to find some more. Where are they hiding it all? I guess I, did I take the ore from this town? There's still some up here. There's probably some ore rocks up here too. Oh, look at this! There's a bunch of doggies up here! I've <laughs> never seen that before! Okay. It's a good teaching moment for our creature, actually. I'm gonna send him over there in a minute. He needs to learn that it's okay for him to eat animals. Make him big and strong. Probably even more than eating villagers would, to be honest. Villagers are kinda scrawny. Uh, five fields on fertile land. It's like free money, man. Alrighty. Put that down. That's good. And then I guess I'm going to build a house chain to get my influence ring over to the uh, mine over there. You'll see what I mean by house chain. We're going to be using a couple of them in this land. That's where you just keep building the houses next to each other to expand your influence ring without using a lot of resources. So it's 300-something for a villa, and they're going to they're going to use the villas. They're going to be lived in, so it's not like it's a waste of resources. You see I'm replanting all these trees after I use them to build something? Because they're going to regrow. You're going to get all that wood back. Let's put in a cross street here. What did I get 15,000 for that time? I'm not sure that was even for. Sometimes you just get tribute and you don't know why. Maybe it's just because your people like you, or they fear you. They're going to be closer to fear in this playthrough. 123. This must be an impressive area over here. Are we going uphill? No? That's weird. <laughs> the sound that your hand makes when you're just outside the influence ring is so funny. Oops. That's not what I want. Alright. So how many... I wonder how many soldiers I can recruit right now. Have they finished the armory yet? Not quite. Your villagers build at a fairly efficient rate, though. You see they... They carry the stuff over, and each of them carries something like... I don't know how much they carry at a time, to be honest with you. But you see, some of them are down here building. And then, it's about to be finished, it looks like. I guess somebody has to carry the ore over from somewhere else. And then the rest of them just 
hit their hammers against it until it's built. We need spare time. You'll get some spare time when the war is over. Us warriors, we must be ready for the inevitable assault. All right, so that's done. How many soldiers can I make? Twenty-six. They have taken another settlement. We have. Ha, those that expand too fast expose their flanks. Oh, we impressed somebody apparently over there. That's cool. All right, so our archers are just sitting out here on this wall. Not a whole lot happening, to be honest. And it says elite archers, but they're not elite archers. They're conscript. I mean, they're better than enlisted, but honestly, they may have got that experience from taking over these towns. Uh, you see, you could try and take that town, but it's going to draw these guys in on you. So maybe this town would be another good thing to grab. Just to get our archers some experience, really. All right. Oh, you know, we're going to need a gatehouse back here if we want those people to get in. Oh, look at this. Too close to towers. That sucks, dude. I can't delete this? I can't delete it because it's outside my influence ring. Are you kidding me? These people are going to get over here and be like, Oh, no, they're going around. Oh, they're actually smart. That's good. You need more wood. Get some wood, man. There's trees all over the place. You're doing fine. Alright. Let's throw down another symbol of fecundity over here. You would get, you would get a bonus of some experience or some impressiveness if you put them next to a road. I think you get 45 impressiveness just for having a driveway, pretty much. But uh, I'm not really that interested in that. You don't need to go for the extra impressiveness when you're doing the, the war runs. Working our way over to this mine, because we need that ore to power our armies. I could spread these houses out a little bit more, but meh. What have my people done to deserve that kind of luxury? Those trees are already grown back. Man, that happens fast. Okay, I'm just this road's gonna look funny because it's gonna be built in a bunch of short little pieces. That's four houses. Now we put a cross street in, and we're gonna head over towards that mine. Looks like it might be about time to just throw out a temple out there. Oh, it's outside my ring. It's a big tree, though. I want it. If you can make it over near this mountain, too, you, you can collect all these trees on the hill over here. And it's just easy. Can I fit any more houses up here? Yeah. Probably can't get the road to go that way. Oh, I can. Good. Very good. Very good. So at this point, yeah, I'm looking at this mine. This is kind of my goal right now. It's just to get over to that mine so I can put villagers in it. How close do the, can I put houses to this mine? Okay, now there's rocks in the way. So let me just put those in the storehouse. This is actually giving me good points, but whatever. Finish this temple yet? Man. Whoops! Oh, don't drop it on the temple. Damn. I want to build the temple. Oh, it doesn't need any ore. It needs wood. Okay, well, hell, get some wood on there. Rub some bacon on it. A couple trees. Oh, they're finishing the houses. That's good. This granary will speed Boom. Food Look at that boost on your influence ring. That's nuts. Keep praying to your false gods. Oh, Honor we will. I worship. We will keep praying to our false gods. Whoops. I'm gonna put another temple over here. Dang it! Ah, when you hit the tab, when you hit the button for the tab, you're already in. It's like, uh-uh, you're already in that tab, and it closes the thing. It's like, damn it! Would you stop it? Okay, I just had it go green a second ago. Oh, oh, right there. Nice. So we'll just go ahead and build that temple. And that'll give us the mine. We're now close enough. <laughs> Victory shall be ours. So then we're going to go back to just building tons of houses and putting down fertility statues all around them. I want to get the people excited about making babies. Making babies like it's your job. <laughs> Oh man, what a game, what a game. You know, I'm just going to grab rocks to build the rest of this. I'm not even going to bother going to the storehouse. That was a good bit of ore on that rock. And that should finish it. Yeah, there we go. Getting a big influence ring is nice for this land. When he fires off that siren, we're going to be having hard times. Alright, so... What I should do next is put the siren down and just let the people build it at their leisure. I'm going to try and put it somewhere 
That would make sense. I guess I'm just going to go forward here with this. It's going to make s some achievements later easier. So let's just put it down out there. Alright, we need ore? Is that what you're saying? We need ore? We can grab the builders and make them miners. All these people... Mine worker. And in order to save these people time, I'm going to put a storehouse over here too. Just because you don't want them to have to walk all the way across the friggin' land in order to put away the resources they just collected. So, what's the closest I can put one of these? A migration is waiting at our borders That'll work. For you to accept them. We're going to have a double block over here, that's fine. Where is that migration? Doesn't even matter. We'll just take their flag and put it in the influence ring. Oh, here they are. Nine people. Nice. It's free people. Can't say no to that. More roads. More crisscrossy roads. There's going to be some big city blocks over here. That's fine. Looks like it goes right over to this road in the mountains. That's fine. A cat is fine, too. And that's the end of that road. Alright, cool. Put down some more houses. Where's my fertility statues? Now that we have a mine, I'm not too, too worried about putting down some fertility statues around here. You can see all the mine workers. Already, are they carrying stuff? Yeah, it looks like it. They're going to carry right over to the st storehouse that isn't built. Uh, duh. Let's see if they turn around and come up here. Because they're all going to go down that road. Oh no, okay. They went right up there. Good. Alrighty. So now, how much ore have we got on us? 6,000? Check out how much the siren costs. Well, let's see if I can get it to show up. Hello. 4,000 ore just to build that. That's why I'm going to let the people build it, because if I used 4,000 ore with god building, they I would be wasting like 1,000 ore. So I'm going to let the people build it. It's good enough. I will put down some more fertility statues here, though. They'll build those on their own, too. And then, back to housing. You gotta be able to house the people. Now, it might be smart to put a smelter in at some point, just because you're gonna get more more bang for your buck out of your ore mines. And they're the things that really... That's one of the choke points in this game, is not having enough ore. Where's the smelter? Here it is. 60,000. Uh, this will process the ore your mine workers excavate, excavate, increasing the amount of ore you can use from a set amount quarried. Super useful. Where is that? I'm gonna put it right across the street from. Oh, can I not fit it in here? Yes, I can. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna sneak it in. I'm gonna sneak it in up on the hillside up here. Where's the the road? There we go. Uh -huh. What are the Greeks planning now? We're planning to get some more ore for our buck. Thing is, you have to make a refiners if you want to actually get your money's worth on the smelter. Come on, connect to the smelter. There we go. This is an ore rock, isn't it? Just... It only costs a hundred ore to make, too, which is k kind. Do we need to put more farms down? Looks like it. Well, sometimes they just yell at you and tell them, tell you what they what they want. And if they do that, you just give them what they want. And if you're feeling nice, you can even to throw some food in the storehouse for them. See how quickly they eat it. All right, so nothing much is happening out here. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, he's building the same city he always builds. This conflict continues. And it is the Aztecs who make us vie with the Greek people. The unfair thing about the wonders in this game, which are essentially big-ass miracles, if I haven't explained them yet, is that the enemy seems to be able to fire them just whenever they feel like. They only do it very infrequently. But when you build a wonder, you have to get people to worship it, and it takes a, like half an hour to charge up. And then it, finally you can fire it. But... It's a little bit annoying when they use wonders because it seems like they don't they don't have to have people on them worshiping them in order to use it. You don't need food. You got 9,000 food in the storehouse. What are they talking about needing food? And 
What do smelter. We to do with the smelter? <laughs> He's never heard of a smelter. An unfortunate smelting accident. We must remind the villagers that their owner is to the Japanese. Refiner. Disciple refiners. Yeah, so they can only have eight. See, output level? Look at this, plus 66%. We're getting a bonus 66% on our ore. Nicely done. Alrighty, that's good news. Ore is the critical resource in this game. Not, not having enough of it can make it really hard to have an effective army. Alright, things are going well here. I could god build some more houses. That would be a good way to use our time. Let me put down some more fertility statues too. We want the people to have lots of babies. And rather than building tree by tree, I'm gonna... turn it all into planks and then just hold the planks. It's easier. Let's build some houses! So exciting. Each land will be sort of building a starter city to get things going. It'll be putting down things like smelters, getting access to the mines so we can build armies and building the most basic of cities and eventually we're going to get enough resources that we can we don't have to spread out so much we can build smaller cities that just p crank out people another town chooses the honorable path of japanese enlightenment and then uh once we have things like granaries and smelters they'll be increasing our output so we don't have to have so many farmers we don't have to have so many miners and it'll basically just free up more people to be in the army, which is what you want. Alright, let's look at our population here. I went a little diagonal this time. Birth rate is nice and high. And they've t we've, we've taken all towns except for the final other town, which is nice. We're moving fairly quickly in that regard. Hey, I've already put a fertility statue in all the neighborhoods. That's very nice. How close is that, s that siren to being done? Looks like they built some of it. Not a whole lot. We don't. You don't need food. I see food in the storehouse. There's eight thousand food. What are y'all complaining about? Oh, is this the other town telling me they need food? Is it these kids down here? They don't seem to be down here. I think you can knock on the roofs. Let me see. If I can do that with one of these houses. <laughs> you knock on the roof of the house, and everybody who's inside will come out. It's kind of cool. So you can't knock on the roofs of that other town because they're outside your influence ring. Disciple farmers. That's good. Don't don't make too many disciples though, because people who are disciples won't join the army. They will refuse. They'll just uh, ignore it when you say that you you're trying to draft a platoon. They won't appear in the available men or whatever. Oh look at this! I've never seen that before. A red migration. They're going the other way. Man. This town is obviously impressive. Alright. So let's see. We need ore, we need food, we need... Which town is it that's bugging me? It's these guys, huh? I didn't think anybody lived down here. Let me see. Come on, give me town information. I'm hovering in the town center. You should be giving me inform information right now. I don't think anybody lives in this town. <laughs> I'm a little bit peeved that, that they're shouting at me. Alright, why do they want more fertility statues? I don't get it. I think putting them by the houses is what's effective. Well, you know, we need to build them. That would be part of it. They're just sitting unfinished. Who built the statue of the pregnant lady in the backyard? <laughs> oh. It just appeared one night. We don't know. See now, now with the smelter, I'm, I'm not, I, don't, I wouldn't feel bad if I used a little bit of god building on that siren. Once it's about halfway done, I might just finish it myself. Because that's getting that extra ore is really what I was concerned with. Although we know the wood, I'll do for them too. Well, the wood is easy. <laughs> wood is an essentially unlimited resource if you plant your trees early. There are only a few lands where you even have to worry about it. This one it can be a problem in the first five minutes if you cut down all your trees and you can't reach anymore. But for the uh wah, city status. Cool. Good, good. More people. More soldiers. Sixty-two troops. Alright, awesome. 
We'll do that pretty soon. We don't want the ones that we, the men that we brought with us to get old and die. We want to get them in the army so they live forever. Ha 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 ha! It's kind of sick, actually, but you know, never allow them to die. It's like an, that's a real undead legion. I think all of our legions are undead, and we just haven't told them yet. All right, let's make a platoon. Or should I go? Is at our Let me go with, to them. with melee dudes instead. I'd like to make it a platoon size. Ah, oh, hell, do 65. Why not? Got another migration here, huh? Good. Help feed the army. Or help fill the army with people. How many men was that? 20. Nice. 20 more people. Cool. Alright, so everyone should be coming out of their houses and running over here. Going all the way around and then coming back. That's a little weird. Cool. I guess that. So you got the objectives just sitting up here. Doing whatever. Alrighty then. Looking good. Let's put some more houses down. Gotta keep your population going up. At some point here, I'm gonna start buying skyscrapers because they are the more efficient way to house your, your people. Whoops. Put that road down. I don't know what that was for. It's just free money sometimes, just coming in. Who knows? There's a whole bunch of objectives down here that I'm not even worried about because. Ten embellishments. There you go. That's some, uh... Whatchamacallit? Fertility statues count as embellishments. So, that's where we got that from. Or that's where those... That's where the progress on that is coming from. wonder how much ore is left in that mine. They platoon. Nice. They plumb wall. <laughs> really? You think? You can tell the soldiers to... The swordsman to get on the wall. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. Yeah, so going head to head against the enemy is going to be a pain in this land because they. They're. It's hard to tell, but they're bringing archers. Archers and swordsmen here. And then more swordsmen back here. Swordsmen. Archers. Yeah, so he's got archers defending his town, and he's got archers in the front line. not be our enemies, but we must oppose them. The Aztecs command us to. Yeah. You do everything the Aztecs tell you to do. If the Aztecs told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? <laughs> oh, gosh. Going back to my childhood. Alright. Let's put down some more farms. Honestly, what we probably need is just more farmers. Everyone's gone home. They're not farming. What are they thinking? Too young to be a disciple. disciple. Don't give me that nonsense. I'm an evil god. I don't care about child labor. Honestly, we're not that evil. We're 4% good. But the more war we make, the more bad we'll become. I just left on the siren. 2,000 ore? You know, I might just put that in myself. Pick up some ore rocks. Just start tossing it in there. Yeah, it's only about a thousand left. Any more ore rocks over here? Looks like it's pretty much clear. That's alright. Let's finish it. I want the money from it more than anything else. Get that tribute! Oh, look at how big it makes your influence ring, too. It's ridiculous. Ah. So now we have a siren. So the hard part later in the later game is going to be deciding, do we build soldiers, or do we make more people worship the siren? <laughs> we'll find a balance. It'll probably be we'll just charge the siren up once and then make all those people become soldiers. I can't believe I'm getting... Ex I'm getting uh, what's the word? Impressiveness, just from putting down fields. 